Hi everyone, welcome to Vocal Academy. See this problem. This is a problem on node analysis. So by using node analysis, how can you find the voltage V0 in the given circuit? So when you observe carefully here, it have two nodes are there. So this is one node and also one node is there. Let's consider this is node 1 and this is node 2. Now first of all, what is node analysis? So in the node analysis, at node point, we are going to use KCL. Means sum of all incoming currents at this node point, we are going to equal to 0. Means sum of incoming currents equal to sum of outgoing currents at this node point. By using KCL, we are going to write current values. Means for this branch, the current will be here. For this branch, the current equation. For this branch, current equation. So first of all, find the incoming flows. Means how the current was flowing. So at this node 1, there is three branches are there. So this is one branch, this is one branch, this is one branch. Now first of all find the current directions. So in this branch, the current was flowing from position A2. This is a voltage source. So for this voltage source, the current direction is from position A2. That means from here to like this it was going. So this is in this direction at this node point. Now in the second branch, this here voltage source is there, dependent voltage source. So for the voltage source, the connection is from plus to minus, means like this for, from this branch. So this is the connection from this branch. Now for this branch, here the voltage was given and given signs also is there, means having the directions from position A2. That means the current will be like this in this direction from this branch means sum of all the currents at node 1 is equal to 0. Now write the voltage means current voltage equation in terms of current for the branch 1. Before that consider that this is the current I1 and this is the current I2 and this is the current I3. So at node 1 we observe that all currents are incoming at node 1. That means I1 plus I2 plus I is equal to 0. Now write I1. I1 is the current in this branch. At node 1, the voltage is V0. So V0 minus 30 by resistance. So this is the difference of voltage by resistance gives current. That is V0 minus 30 by 1 ohm resistance. This is the current I1 in this branch. Plus next I2 will be in this branch. So here the voltage is V0. So V0 minus low voltage is 0 by resistance is 2 ohms. So according to Ohm's law we know that V equal to IR. So from this I equal to V by R. So here V is the change in the voltage here by resistance 2 ohms. It gives current that is I2 in this branch. Next I3 in this branch. In this branch, here the voltage is V0, but here what is the voltage? So here the voltage is whatever the voltage drop across 16 ohms. So let's consider here the voltage drop is V1. So V0 minus here two voltages are there. So one is at the node point, another is source is there. So 2 V0 plus V1 by the resistance was in this branch that is 4 ohms. That's equal to 0. By simplifying this equation, we will get 1.25 V0 minus 0.25 V1 equal to 30. Let's consider this is equation 1. Now apply node analysis at node 2. Now find the current directions here at node 2. So here the current was entering from 3 amperes and here the current was leaving from position A2 in this direction. So here this is the current direction here and here there is a current direction here. So this is the current direction in the resistor. Here there is no directions are there in the system ohms resistor. So incoming current equal to sum of outgoing currents. So let's consider this is I4 and this is I5. So I5 was entering that is entering and uh, I3 
and i4 was leaving at node 2 so i5 was entering entering current is i5 and leaving currents are i3 and i4 sum of incoming currents equal to sum of odd currents so i5 equal to 3 amperes so i3 we are know that that is the voltage here that is v0 minus this voltage and this voltage here v0 one is there that is 2 v0 plus v1 the resistance 4 ohms next i4 this is the i4 here the voltage is v1 across 16 ohms so v1 low voltage is 0 by 16 by simplifying this we will get 5 v1 plus 4 v0 equal to 48 so this is the basics algebra only so by simplifying this we will get this equation so let's consider this is equation 2 so here already we know that first equation this is the first equation and this is the second equation now by solving that equations we will get v0 value that is voltage v0 now I am writing this equation 1 and this equation 2 here now I am going to solve these two equations so let's consider this equation 1 and this is equation 2 so from equation 1 so bring what is the v1 value here that means 1.25 v0 equal to so bring this term to the right hand side it becomes 30 plus 0 0.25 v1 so from this now bring this term here so it becomes 0 0.25 v1 equal to 1.25 v0 minus 30 now divide on both sides with 0 0.25 so from this we we'll get v1 equal to 1.25 v0 minus 30 upon 0 0.25 so by simplifying this we will get v1 equal to 5 v0 minus 120 so this is the v1 value now substitute this v1 value in equation 2 so then becomes 4 v0 key passages in the place of v1 write this equation that is plus 5 into 5 v0 minus 120 that's equal to 48 so from this we will get v0 value that is 4 v0 plus 5 plus 25 25 v0 minus 2560 number 600 that's equal to 48 so 4v0 plus 25 nothing but 29 v0 that's equal to 600 plus 48 nothing but 648 so from this we get v0 equal to 648 by 29 so it was approximately 22.34 volts so this is the voltage value v0 across 2 ohms resistor and this is the v0 value here this is the required voltage drop v0 this is the process of simplification by using node analysis if you have any doubts please comment please subscribe like share thanks